So for this painting, the first thing I'd like to do is try to um, decide where I want everything. So I wanted my waterfalls over here, and I want a nice big cabin here, so the waterfalls looks like they're sorted back uh, far away. And so we got to figure that out now how we can get that on our canvas look really pretty. So I just painted the whole canvas blue. You can paint it green, you can paint it brown, whatever color you want. Not real brown, but like maybe a light color just to, to have some kind of background color on your canvas. Um, this kind of helps you not have to stare at a blank canvas. It gives you some color and encouragement. <laughs> So I'm thinking, I just have a wet brush here, that's why you see these lines here, but I'm thinking the waterfalls could be around here, and if we could just try to imagine the waterfalls over here some way. I hope it works out, because <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, um, didn't do anything with it yet. I'm just going to have some waterfalls falling down here. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of white on there just because, so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to think. Maybe the waterfalls would be here. This is not the painting now. I'm just trying to place things in place, all right? So don't go. I'll leave some water falling down there. And maybe just showing you different ways that you can approach your painting, okay? You can approach it different ways, whatever way you want to. So see, having that blue background there, you can play around with your layout, your composition. You can play around with it because if you don't like it, you can always change it because it's only white paint, so you can always go back over with any color at all. So we'll just say we had these different waterfalls. Hmm, that might be nice. Maybe we got some trees and things around here, just just some trees there, and maybe some over here. I don't know if you can see that, but um, and then maybe maybe let's see. I'm just going to get some more white paint, just playing around with um, as if I was drawing it out. But I'm using white paint because I can always get rid of it. So I'm thinking maybe this could be the grassy area, maybe the cabin is here. Nice big cabin. Not sure what shape I want yet. I'm not really sure yet, so. But um, that could be the cabin out here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder should I put it up higher? Anyway, we'll just we'll decide. But that, I think that's a nice spot for the. I think that'll be nice. And then here, it'll be a water, water here and some reflections. That might be nice. And that's our grassy area, and we got some big trees. So this is all going to be probably trees behind here. And then we could probably have that, and maybe. I don't know, maybe a big old tree or something. Maybe there's a tree behind here. But I want to put a tree somewhere. Maybe a tree right here, going right up here. And, and maybe a tree here. Maybe some bushes or something here. And I'm thinking maybe a nice a bunch of flowers or... I don't know, that might be nice, I'm not sure. Well, let's start painting and see what happens. So first of all, I'm going to take a fan brush. And I'm going to try and work in this area here first. Because I want to work in different areas. This is a different type of painting than I usually do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ultramarine blue. And I'm going to use that for a background for my, for my waterfalls. So I got one right here. So I'm just going to touch, pull over, and down. Okay, touch, pull over and down. So, because you're trying to get the shape of the waterfall right now, you're trying to figure out where you want it to go and what type of waterfall you want. So just get it started by doing this. Try to get my hand out of your way. Touch up, over and down. And then we have another one underneath that. 
So we'll do one right here. So where we made those marks, okay? Hopefully this works out because I'm just doing it as I go along. I'm not going to worry too much if it's a bit messy because uh, I just want to get something going here to see what I want to do. Down, over and down, over and down, down. Getting there. And down. I'm going to go a little further down with these. All right, good. Good. I'm just moving them down. So like I said, I'm just showing you, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you get that shape of waterfall, okay? See? Okay, good. All right, that's cute. Now, with your dirty brush, it's okay. Just go right into white, like that, okay? So you got lots of paint on there. So you want to touch over and down again to get that waterfall effect. Reload. Touch over and down. Touch over and down. Now your little waterfalls there. And then we'll do our waterfalls here. As long as you go over and down, it gives it a nice look of falls. If you haven't got a fan brush, you may be able to do it with your flat bristle. But I get a better result from when I'm using my fan brush. You have to reload to get that white paint down there. See? Now we have a little waterfall. So that's a start. I'm going to take that brush that I have some blue and white on there. Whoops. And I'm going to clean my brush. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to clean my brush. And then I'm going to add my dark blue, my ultramarine blue. I'll start off with that first. Then we'll worry about my water here. Put some water here. So right now we are just trying to establish where we want things to go and if it looks you know a little strange or doesn't look finished or whatever that's because we just want to get things in place right now to see where we want everything to go. Okay. Just keep putting your water on until you, I say about down here would be nice. So I'm using my fan brush still. There we go. Good. Nice. Yeah, I just want it to be on there. I'll worry about what it looks like later when I'm ready. Now, so we have that much done. Good. Well, maybe there's um, some water coming down from the top here because the water has to come from somewhere. So we'll say it's coming from up here somewhere. Okay, so the, the water is falling down. So just get a bit of white and put that on over it fall down like water. It's falling down. See? Keep reloading if you need to with white. Good. Now we got a little bit of water there. Now I'm going to take my bristle brush and, and add some foliage and trees and things here. So I'm just going to make green. So you can you can get your own sap green or you can make your own. I like making my own. All right. Nice dark one. Nice and dark. More blue than, than yellow and that way you get a nice dark green. I just want to get some of that going on here. So we'll just tap on. You can leave some openings if you want the sky to show through or you can just close it all in. 
Just tap gently and let these let your brush make some pretty leaves for you. Bristles will do the work for you. See how they open up like that? So I'm just going to fill that in right now. I'm not going to worry because I'm going to add some color. So I'm not going to worry right now about anything. I just want to get it in place and then I will add color to it after. Okay. Don't worry about that now. I'm not sure I want the sky to show through or not, so I'm just going to add that on first and then I'll decide if I want to close it up more. simple, you know, we keep it simple, you know. I'm actually using four pictures for my reference. I'm looking at four. So when I get all this done, I'll show you the pictures. They may not even be anywhere near. That's how I like to use my reference photos just to have something there to help me, I don't know, but decide on colors, decide on what a tree look, you know, kind of tree I want to put somewhere, or it doesn't mean I'm using the reference photo to do exactly the same way. It's usually to help me just get, get a few things in place, get some ideas from the reference photos. That's about it, really. But I will show you that what I did step by step, how I how I use the reference photos. I'll give, I'll give them to you and I'll show you what I did and then maybe you can take the reference photos and you can make up your own painting from those reference photos. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be so cool. I might bring that one over a little further. So we have our background, our water and our waterfalls. That is so cool. And we'll make that really pretty a little later. So behind the, uh, I'm just wondering how big to make that cabin. Um, behind the cabin there's some more trees, so I mean we'll just continue on with these. Like I said, I'm going to add color to those and make them look like trees by adding trunks and things like that when I get some of this filled in. I'm just going to add a bunch of leaves. There we go. All right. Yeah, there's going to be a tree here, so might leave some openings to the sky. Because I painted the whole background blue, I can use that for a sky. See? All right. Now I'm going to keep this going until we fill all this up. So that would be the tree, there we go. So I'm just going to take a small flat um, synthetic brush and I'm going to put, uh, let's see, let's see. I want to get a really dark underpainting for my cabin just so that we can see, you know, what the shape is. I got burnt sienna, or you can use burnt umber, and some ultramarine blue. I look how I look, it almost goes black. So that's perfect. So let's see, let's see. We got a cabin with this shape. You can draw it out first if you like, if that helps. We got, I'm just going to bring it down here like this, nice big cabin like that. I 
This is like a more of a an old rundown barn or something, isn't it? So we have that's to the edge of the canvas, so you can't see the other edge of that. That's fine. And then this one here will come out and down. I'm just going to fill that in there. So we'll just fill it in with a dark color first, just so we can establish what way we want our cabin. Good. And then we have, we'll finish, we'll probably put just something here just so that we can figure out the top from the bottom. We'll fill that in. As long as your underpainting is dark, it doesn't matter what colors you use, you can use a really dark blue a really dark green. You add a little bit of black to your greens or whatever colors you're using. But I'm just using ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. Just want to fill it in. I'm just going to do the bottom. I'm going to leave a little bit of space just so I can see where I divided it. So let's use a bristle brush and get some, I don't know, some grass or something, getting things established down here. Probably could add a little bit of red and yellow together, a bit of burnt sienna, and make it nice and bright. And then we can add some a brighter color down here for a lighter grass. too orange, kind of on the yellowish side. Maybe a little bit of blue to green it up a little bit. I like mixing the colors like this because then I can have different tones and values of color. See? All I'm doing, as you can see, is putting colors in place and shapes. Just trying to figure out what we want to do.
And this is fun too because you're not worried about anything right now, only just putting color on that on your canvas. Just making shapes. Simplify it, see? So get some more yellow and a little bit of uh green it up a little bit. I might put a path here too. Good. Now we got that much started. So what we're going to do is, I just put one there so I make sure I did it okay for you guys. And I'm going to take some white paint on a flat synthetic brush and I'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna to it. And I'm not going to mix it totally. I'm just going to drag the white and through the burnt sienna, see, so it opens up. And then I'm going to make these boards. So I'm just going to go under the roof line and I'm going to make these boards like this. You need more paint. There's um there's a door there somewhere. Well we can still go down. We can put our door in after. Now this is a really old building, right? So we don't have to worry about it being perfect. Just want to get some boards so it looks like boards. Okay, some of your paint. Let you go there and go there and then you pull through. You got this marble look. Right. That's good. And we'll do some more down here. We can actually go across. So these boards here, they're fine. But I'm going to go under those. I'm going to go across this time. Okay. We get a couple of boards going down here. I might as well do that while I'm doing it. And I'm going to go across. I'll leave the door here and then we can start say here. Got an edge here. It's using my chiseled edge as you can see. And we are going to add some up here. On your chisel edge, you should be able to get a, a decent edge there. All right. Now, clean your brush. Now, underneath the boards here, we're going to get black. And we will get 
get our black and we'll go underneath here. Get a shadow. I'll bring some of those, some of that black down here between there and, and on top of that too if you want. And here, use the chisel edge of your brush to help you. Drag some down there like that. You can use the chiseled edge, and you can also turn it the other way to pull straight down, and that you'll be able to bring those shadows down into the wood. See? That gives it a nice look, doesn't it? And the same with. Um, over here, you can bring down your shadow color, your black, and pull it in towards this to get that. We're trying to get a really rough look to this. Really, really rough look. Pull that over gently. Don't, don't touch your brush off too much, okay? And... And we also want to put a little bit underneath there. So we'll take some black on our chiseled edge synthetic brush and pull your brush through like this so that you get a nice chiseled edge, okay? And then you can use your chiseled edge and come across. And now you can bring some up there like that. And your chisel edge again. Get those boards. Right? Get some cracks and things like that. It's a kind of a cracked look to it, see? That looks really old. Doesn't that cool look cool? Yeah, nice. You can use a liner brush to even give it more cracks if you want to. Just rolling it in my black. And let's see, let's see. Where can I give it more? Um... Few little ones here and there. Follow whatever is already there. It looks like it might be cracks. I don't want to overdo it though. I'm just trying to show you what you can do with wood. Cool. Cool. Oh. 
So use your liner brush if you need extra cracks, okay? Extra tiny cracks, we'll say. I keep going all over do it, but that's just an idea to show you how you can get those little extra cracks in there, see? And it looks like it has lots of detail. So if anybody's looking at your cabin they'll, or your falling down old building, they'll say, how did you get all that detail in there? I think we can highlight a little bit, with, go into your white so you make a light gray with your liner brush. And I think we can add a little bit of uh, a little bit of a light touch on top of here. Just to give it like a like there's light on it. There we go. A little bit here. We have to decide now where the light's coming into. So I don't want to steer you wrong. I'm trying to think where it would be nice for the light to come in. Um, well, it's all covered up with bushes and everything, so the light can't get in there very good, so it doesn't really matter. So just put some highlight on the edges here. And a little bit on the edge here just to show that And maybe a little bit not much, just enough to say there might be a board here or something. Just these little details will help. Make it look more interesting. That's the word. Make your painting interesting. You don't want to overdo it, but you want to be able to enhance it. Make it interesting. Alright. Now. If that's dry over here, I'm going to try and pretend there's some light. Maybe there's some light coming in through the boards here. grayish color here to make it look like there's something going on back here. Kind of old boards here that are sticking out. You can't barely see them. And then this maybe. Fade it out a little bit. I don't want it too It's like the light is shining through. There's something shining through. There's some kind of light. All right. I think we got enough of that there. All righty then. I think I'm going to put a path. I'm thinking maybe it's coming over here. Maybe. Or it could be coming over here. Hmm. Hmm. 
So I'm going to add some black and white. Even got a little bit of blue going on there. <laughs> and I'm going to more white than black. Let's see, let's see. Some kind of a path or something going on here. Add more white. Maybe it's just going right off the, the canvas there. There we go. Now we got something there. That's what you have to do. You have to put put in just uh, the basics first to see what you're going to do. So I'm going to try a fan brush make some grass. Now if you don't like a fan brush you can use, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll start off with a, a bristle first because it might be a bit hard for some people, to, some people don't like the fan brush. I'm going to add some grass, I'm going to add some dark green dark green with ultramarine blue. You can add, uh, you can add a little bit of black if you want, you know, not too much because the kind of black kind of fades down, but it's nice and dark there now, right? You can even add a little bit of red to it. So many things you can add, like you can add even a bit of burnt, see if you want a really dark, colorful black. So I'm just trying to think, let's see, maybe there's a few bushes or something going on there next to the house. Oh, look at all that hard work you did. Look, gone. <laughs> I'm so mean. We'll keep it down as low as we can so you can see your work. And some over here to the side of the house. Probably some shadow color here. Maybe a little bit here. And we will add some yellow to our, our brush. This is dirty now and it so it'll have some different values. Tap 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 tap. That gives it a grassy look, see? Go right into that green there and then move it back out. Add more yellow. More yellow. More yellow. So your brush is dirty, so you're getting all these different uh, values of green. So we leave it dark down there, it's kind of nice. Lighten it up up here. Maybe there's some light coming in from the front, who knows? Go here. I really like the fact that I got that dark on there, on my brush still there. It's kind of nice because it's giving me all these layers of different values. Dip into yellow. Because your brush is dirty, you can dip into yellow and you'll get still get all those values. Like, see when you push hard, you get see it coming off. It's 
Nice puffy grass, isn't it? So go all around everywhere. Keep it a bit dark down here, it's fine. See, the tap, tap, tapping gives you all that textured grass, right? Makes grass for you. Tap, tap, tap. Going into my yellow again. Going back down here so that I can blend it together as if it's one. Don't want it to look like it's separated from each other. some of that darker color off there. It's by pushing my brush in, see? Because all that dark paint is, is a little closer to this here. And uh, so I'm just going to get yellow. I don't need to get any greens or anything because it's already on my brush. Now I covered up some of that orangey color because change your mind. wasn't sure in the beginning what I wanted to do, so just trying to put things in place so I can change things up as I go along. See? Good. Make sure you Get everything so that it looks like it's all blended together. It's not different. Make sure it transition, transitions into each other, that it doesn't look like it's a line of yellow, a line of medium green, line of dark green. Don't do that because it won't look right. It's coming along. It's a little different, but it's kind of nice, isn't it? All right. So we want to put some highlight there. I'm going to add a little bit of red to my yellow to get that orangey color that I like. Yellow and red. And maybe a bit of white to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Kind of a pinkish. And we got some of these pretty flowers going on up here. So your brush will do it for you. So just tap gently on top of what you did so you can leave some shadow there. Cool. Isn't that nice? There's some more over here. Go on top of what you did so you leave that shadow on the bottom. Maybe just some up here too. And this is another bush, and you can have that add a little bit of different color to it. Let's see, let's see if we can make it into a um, hmm. Red and green and yellow, a little bit of blue and white. Just trying out some different colors, just see what I can get. It's not too bad, we'll see. Yeah, it's nice. You may even add a couple here like that, see? Kind of evens out the color, see? Now, nice. Maybe there's a small waterfall that's coming down here. Pull out and down, out and down. And pick up some white on your dirty brush fan brush and out and down, out and down, out and down. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Now, oops. Now we want to add um, some little splashes. I'm just going to use the corner of my brush, some white and blue, just sort of like as little splashes coming up. Just tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Come 
a little bit more white because we're going to highlight that again. I just want to get something on there for now. Just splashing down into the water. Good. And then we'll just and then we'll just go back and forth like this. Put it into the water. Bit of white. Add some light color to the water. Because you got some, I would say, reflections from those really nice uh, waterfalls, right? So I'm just scrubbing it out, as you can see. I'm not doing anything fancy. Brightens it up nicely. I'm just keep my brush dirty and I'm adding more white. Just laying some of that on top of there. That water ends where the grass is. And now I'm going to add some, some ultramarine blue to my dirty brush. I'm just going to darken it up a little bit in spots. nice. There we go. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not sure if I want to do this or not. I'm just trying it out. Some reflections from the, from the waterfalls. It kind of looks nice though. Gives it like there's, there must be something going on there. All right. A little bit of good, a little bit of a shine on the water there. All you got to do is put white on your brush, wipe off some of it. You don't want too much. Just add a little bit of a, a little bit of glitter or sparkle to your water. Oh boy, I told you not to do too much, look what I did. Kind of looks nice though. <laughs> I'll darken some of that now, because I messed it up. I just want to show you too, like, how you can fix things up, okay? So, I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm not making this mess on purpose, but I want to show you that if you do make a mess, you can clean it up. It's too late there. So you have to go back and forth, fix things up that you don't like us. So I'll see something jumping out at you and you don't like it. Get rid of it. So that looks nice. I'm going to put some white on the corner of my brush. My brush is still dirty. I'm just going to finish off these little, little splashes of water. Just here and there. I don't want to be too pronounced. Put that out there. So, we highlight those waterfalls. Take your fan brush, clean it off, and, or get a new one, and put some white on there. Okay? And again, touch over and down, but we want to touch over and down and leave some of that underpainting there that some of those shadows so you don't want to lose those 
Okay, so it's just basically working on the tops. Think about working on just on the tops of those waterfalls, okay? If you drag it down, make sure you don't cover up anything. Good. A little bit up here. See how I'm just going to the very top and then I'm pulling down, but I'm leaving, my fan brush will open up for me and that will leave some of the shadows and that will enhance then your water. It will make it look pretty. the very top and pull down but like I said leave some of those leave some of that blue out that's still there see just to work out the top just concentrate on the top of the falls touch and fall down touch over and fall down that will give it a nice round top up there see That's supposed to be our splash here and there. See that enhances it more, right? A little bit up here too. Scrape on a little bit on the corner of my brush there. And leave some of that dark, see? And then we've got a little bit of a splash here. All right. That looks much better, doesn't it? that nice? You know, it would almost be nice if this was another waterfalls, wouldn't it? Does not look like a waterfalls to you? I think that'd be nice to you. I think we'll do that. Now that I'm looking at it. Touch over and down. Touch over and down. See how you can change things up when you want to? coming in. I think that's nice like that. That gives it a little extra, doesn't it? And you can add on your little bit of splash here. A little more water up here. As if it's coming, pushing it out. Right? It's kind of nice, isn't it? There we go. Now we can add a little bit of uh, grass to this. Just to show that there's grass. Because this probably hasn't been used for a while, this little building. It's just falling apart. Maybe there's even some grass Going along the edge here. Tap, tap, tap. It's kind of like growing over because nobody, nobody lives there. You can make up your own story. yellow. Tap it off if you got too much. You don't want to be too blobs, right? So you, you want it to be able to... There we go. That's better. There, I want a little bit of a shadow color. I'm going to darken up my green just to give it a bit of a shadowy color down here. A 
Yeah, it looks like that's all right, isn't it? There we go. We haven't decided where the light's coming in yet, have we? We got light. It's like it's shining on the front of the house there because because all the background's got trees and water and all that stuff. So we, you know, lights coming from somewhere, so we can make it look like it's come from the front if we want to. Sure, painting, you can do whatever you want, you know. Try not to, you know, overdo it, but of course, that's me all over, right? But I like that. I think I'm going to take that tree and I'm going to bring it right down the front here, okay? I know all the hard work you put into it, but look at all the things you're learning. So I'm going to go with black and brown. Black. And my flat chiseled edge brush and some brown. I'm just going to not mix it. I'm just going to put it on top of each other, okay? That's all. Nothing complicated. So let's just take that tree and pull it down. Nice big tree. Look at that. Oh, going right over your cabin. Way, 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 way down. Let's see where we go here. That's a nice tree. There we go. When I get that sharp edge, use the chisel edge of your brush to do that. That's why when you pull it up, you put it like this, and that way you'll get those edges. So just start filling these in with a little more color, thicken them up a little bit. I'm going to use a dark green. And um, dark green in there first, a little bit of black, because I really want some of those colors to be popping out. They'll only pop out if you have a really dark green, all right? If you have a really dark background, the colors will definitely pop out. So we'll go over these. You can use sap green. I think that's pretty dark. So I'm just going to use a small flat brush. I think I'm going to probably put black and brown together because now that it's really dark. Maybe, maybe a tree here would be nice. So you can't see it, but at least you know where it is, okay? Let's go with a brownish color. Let's brighten it up a little bit so you can see it. Right, this one down behind waterfalls. We'll put some, you know, some grass and stuff around that, or and maybe another one. I wonder, should I put another one here? Why not? 
I'll put it behind the house so it won't destroy it. We do a lot of work with that. We certainly don't want to mess that up, do we? There, somewhere. When we put our highlights out, now you'll be able to see it better. All right. Put that down behind the house. At least it got some, yeah, trees and things there. That's nice. Hmm. And we'll add, add a few little, I don't know, maybe some branches coming off. We don't need much. You know, just something to show that there's other things going on with that tree. Maybe there's a small one hidden back here. Maybe there's some branches and stuff going off there. I don't want to get too technical here. Marvelous. All right, so let's fill up the rest of this space here. Some of those leaves are going down over that into the house there. Burn. I'm not sure what you want to call it. It's an old barn, isn't it? Now let's try a small bristle so that it opens up like that. Okay, that's why I like using these because they they open up. All right, wet it up a little bit, make it damp, wipe it off your tissue if it's too wet, and just make some of these little yellow and a little bit of blue or or a light green. Okay, light green color, more yellow than green. All right. And that way you get nice bright yellow, but it's got some green to it. So why don't we add some, now if this is wet, it may not, it might just blend in. So what you need to do is let that dry first. So I'm just going to add some of these. Try to use the very top. I find, look, I'm using the side, I find I'm getting blobs. So use just the top of your and tap and and you do it here and there so that you can leave some of the darks behind I don't want to be getting those blobs but it's happening to me I'm going to have to change brushes I think or I'm just going to have the oh yeah there we go it's better I'm not using the top enough I need to use the top more Right, I can do this. <laughs> we can do this. Trying to get what you you know, trying to get the results that you're looking for is it's not easy. I mean, you know, you gotta. I know you see some artists out there, and they just do this and do that, and everything comes out perfect. It's, blows my mind too. All right, so let's keep it going.
Now, another way you can do it if you can't get your brush to work for you is get a brown brush. I don't know. Um, get a small round brush. You can make the leaves smaller. You might have to work longer and harder. Well, you won't have to work a bit longer. But you might be able to get better results. So you, you still use the same green. Make sure your brush is not too wet. Mom was dripping there for a second. So So get the color, the yellow, a bit of green in it. And then you can add little dots of yellows. See, I'm not fussy about that. I kind of like uh, using my brush so I can get those other ones. So you, you ha it's your preference what you find works for you. That don't work for me. Um, You do for you a little here or something like that, but you want to add some light little bits of flowers in that there, you know. But I like my bristle brush. It's kind of nice. So that's nice these little nice little flowers there, huh? Okay, so I'm going to go back to my bristle. All right. Now after get this some of this done, I'm gonna add some color. I'm just trying to figure these this out there now for now. Use the top of my brush because Looks nice hanging down over there, doesn't it? So I'm gonna add I'm gonna add some of my light green, but I'm gonna darken it up a small bit just to keep it in the background there a little bit. better. So now we'll start adding some color. All right. So let's add some highlights to the tree. I'm going to go with some yellow. Some yellow and a little bit of red. More yellow than red though. Okay. And then I'm going to go I'm trying to decide where the light is. Um, let's say the light is shining. The light is coming in through here somewhere. It's, it's kind of 
sneaking in through there somewhere. So we'll, we'll have a little bit of highlight on the left side of the tree. And we're just going to use our um, flat chiseled edge brush, synthetic. You can use whatever you want. You can use a palette knife. I'm just going to use this for now. Get the brightest side here. If your paint is still wet, it might dull your yellow, so if you can wait for your paint to dry, that'd be good. If you can't, well, put it on and then maybe when it dries, you can add a couple more little highlights. Now, I'm going to I'm going to wipe off my brush and whatever's left over my brush I'm just gonna move it back a little bit. Using the chisel edge, I'm just going using the trying to get short strokes or you know medium strokes I should say because they're not they're not real short, but some of them are just to get that on there. Kind of transition that into the tree so that it looks like it's all now if you end up making it too we'll just go back with your black and brown and as you're going in just leave some of those right all right that looks good and then add some more I might come in a little bit further my brush is dirty Just picking up a little more yellow and then I'm putting it on here. It looks better. I'm going to do the other trees also. Now you can use whatever highlights you want. It could be white, it could be the orangey color, it could be a blue white. Okay, we don't want it too bright in here because it's kind of among the trees, isn't it? So we'll get a little bit of highlight going on there. Maybe it's a little bit of yellow or red hitting off the edge here. Kind of trying to, you know, figure it out yourself because we don't have much in the way of reference photos to help us. I'll just show you what I'm using. And like I said, you maybe you can come up with your own little painting from the reference photos I give you. Be a nice little challenge for you, wouldn't it? Just trying to make them so you can see the trees. And like I said, if you, you should go back with probably some black or black and brown on your chiseled edge and just bring in a few of the darks in between what you just did because you don't want it just to be one color. See? Now, it's kind of nice, isn't it? Gives it a more realistic look. Cool. We can even add, like, we can even add some more little skinnier branches in between those if we want. Now, let's add a few grasses around that tree, and I'm just going to go with some green, yellow. Some, I'm going to use green this time, um, some sap green with it. And I'm just going to, with my fan brush, I'm just going to pull up some of these grasses. Get tap, 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 and then pull up. Right? All right. 
right, so you got your grassies going on there. Um, you could also have some patches of grass going on here. Get some yellow to that. I think I'd like to add something here. Uh, because it looks like the end of the where the water comes in, you want something here to, to say that's the end of the water there. Here we go, some little patches of grass going on there, so that it looks like, you know, that's the edge of the bank, right? These are kind of cute. You don't have to do these if you don't want to. You can put whatever you want there, you know, some flowers and things. We're going to add a little few flowers and things, but... Uh, so I'm going to make a... Clean my brush. I'm going to make kind of a purplish color, the red and blue, and then I'm going to add white to make a, uh, that color there, and I'm going to make some nice, maybe I should do the dark first and then put light over it. There we go, now you'll be able to see it better. <laughs> there we go, that's better these here. Good. Nice. You can have them wherever you want. Add some over here if you want. And we lighten them up with some white. I want to fix this up a little bit here too. So now I'll add some white to that so that I can lighten them up for you. I'll just tap over those a little bit. Just on the edge so you can keep the dark part. The shadow I should say. There we go. Let me get some more over here. Add a little more white if you can't see it.
and have them wherever you want to. Nice. That grass isn't too bad. I think I need to do much more with that grass. I mean, you can poke at it and play with it. But I like it because it's, it's unkept. That's the one I'm trying to see how I can make it look like it's unkept. So. So go back with your fan brush and pick up um, some white, a little bit of green. So you can fix these, this grass up here. It's better, isn't it? And you're going to put a little bit of shadow underneath there because you don't want it to be... So just put a little bit of a dark blue or witcher green. So if the light is shining on the left, then the shadow from the tree is probably going to be here. It's going to be a shadow. It's going to tap on a little bit of shadow there. Might make it go right across. Rubbing it in a little bit. A bit of a shadow from the tree. Now what else can we do, I wonder? Let's see. I'm going to take out my big bristle. It's one inch. Let's see all those beautiful bristles. Slam them into your hand and open them right up when you wet it that low more. Let's see, sometimes I get some of these brushes open better than others. I don't know, maybe if the wetter wore. Add some red and white to your brush. Tap it off so you can get some nice colors there. And then we will get all these nice little itsy bitsy colors. Add it in there. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, nice. That's what I'm looking for. That is exactly what I'm looking for. I couldn't get it with the other brushes. This brush is like a miracle brush. I should call this a magic brush. How's that? <laughs> magic white, magic mist, magic brush. Why not? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's so pretty. I didn't expect that. I'm going to add some more greens too, right? But I just want to get some color in here first. It's nice. So I want to get a bit of a darker purplish color. I want to add some blue. A bit of red. It's like a kind of a purplish color. A little bit white. Let's try that. Okay, we'll brighten it up a little bit more with some more white. Nice. That's much better than those other brushes, I must say. This brush is great for fl tiny flowers, little tiny ones. I want some down around the water. Some yellow and green, I think, this time. More white. So add color, like greens, yellows, white, uh, reds, and pinks, purples, and then add white to it to, so you can see it more, right? See how pretty that is? Isn't that beautiful? 
So you can take this brush and go over all the background to brighten it up. And you can even make nice little flowers on top of these here. All right? You can add more just pure white. My brush is still dirty. I haven't just to see if there's any flowers there like that, see? Just makes the flowers for you. It's amazing. It makes it so pretty, doesn't it? All right, I really like that pink. I want to add some more of that. Red and white. Let's see, where else can we put that? I don't want to overdo it, but I do want to make it look nice. Um, some there, maybe a few little ones going down over the house. You can even add some on top of what you already did, just to, depending on what you want. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to add more green ones now. Mm green, well, uh, yellow on top of the green. I'll clean it off a little bit, get some of that pinky stuff off there. And I'm going to go with uh, yellow. Brush is pretty dirty. Alright, try again. Some yellow, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green, I think. I don't want, I think they'll be all right. We'll see. I want some nice, oh yeah, that's pretty. That's really jumping out, look at that. But I'm just doing it here and I don't want it to be overpowering, you know what I mean? But you can still see those leaves. I'll leave some of the darks, I don't want to. Yellows there. <clears throat> See how they look like flowers though? And that brush is doing it all for you. So I'm just dipping into my yellow and a little bit of white if you want it. And I'm just going to add, I think I'm going to darken it up a little bit. See, I'm making up my, I'm changing my mind so many different times. <laughs> but I want to, um, I don't know, I just don't want to overdo it, you know? I do want some of the smaller leaves. So just punching on what I already did, kind of filling it in a little bit. Add a little bit more white or yellow. So you're getting all those tiny little tiny little leaves. some over the trees so that they look like it's just, you know, it's buried in the, in the woods there. This one here can have some over too. Alright, that looks pretty, doesn't it? It looks really nice. So we'll finish it up with some yellow and white. Put some, I don't know if you'll be able to see them now because the background is kind of, just putting some flowers here and there. Like I said, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to overpower it and make it too, just a little dab here and there. You can have different colors. You want the reds there. Maybe some down here. I don't know. Wherever you want them. 
just add little bits of color here and there. It helps. This brush is amazing. Isn't it though? It just does all the work for you. Isn't it fantastic? I think I'm going to leave it. I think that's good, you know. It's good or good enough or whatever you want to call it. What I'm thinking though is I like to darken up the bottom a little bit because if you got light in the center, then your eye goes to the center of the painting. Right? So if you got we got these darks up here and then the grass down here should be a little darker in my opinion. So I'm just going to darken it up down here. Put some dark paint down here. Dark green. Alright, just a little bit. See how already it gives it that pushes your eye up into the center of the painting. Nice. Make sure now you, you get it to blend because if it don't, it'll look like separate it and then it won't look it won't look good. Right? A little bit of shadows here because I'm gonna clean off my brush now. Whatever's left on it, then I'm gonna use that for shadows. So clean off your brush and some tissue, and then just tap at what you just did, and get that blend in with the rest of it there, like that. And this. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Like I said, I'm only just giving you some ideas. But if you don't like that, don't do it. It's okay. See how that dark gives it more, you know, I don't know, just kind of right. pretty. Yeah, I was going to put some flowers down. I don't know if you want some flowers down there, just take a brush. If you want to add a few little red flowers or green or I don't know whatever colors you want. Just take your big old brush. See, see, that's making flowers already for you, see? So you can put a couple of little ones here, right there. That's all. And you don't have to do anything. It's amazing. I should stop. <laughs> I should stop. I'm going to get myself in trouble. So let's put some nice little daisies on here. So we'll put our centerpiece in first where you want them. Small flat brush is good. Whatever you, small round brush or flat or whatever works for you, okay? So these centers will give you an idea where you want your daisies. You just need a few. Nice. Now, let's put on the petals. Just pull out a few petals. White. Okay, just white petals.
just going to add a little bit more white. I'm going to use my titanium white this time because it's the brightest white you can get. As far as I know, if anybody else knows if there's a white or white you can get, that'd be great. You can let me know. I'm not sure if zinc white or lead white is brighter, but uh, they're kind of toxic, so you don't want to have them in your environment if you don't have to. Yeah, so maybe there's some light over here too, a little bit here, a little bit here. Just to think maybe there's a little bit. I don't want to overdo it, but I want to I want to show you that if you decide where your light is and then you pick spots out that you think the light is shining on, that will give your painting a little bit of a boost. You know, it'll it's like a little booster shot for your painting. All right, so these last minute highlights are your booster shot. So if your painting needs a booster shot, just add little dabs of really bright paint, okay? It can be bright yellow, bright blue, bright blah, blah, blah. I think that's kind of cute. I should leave it alone, I suppose. You know, I see so many things that I just want to keep picking and picking and picking. I think I might just add a little more highlight on the tree there. Not, you know, I'm not going to do too much. This little bit here, maybe, probably this one mostly. A bit of yellow and, and a little bit of uh, white, teeniest bit of red, just so I can give kind of an orangey. Not too much now, I'm just going to see a little bit here, that's all. I'm going to leave that, see that dark spot in there, can you see that? Leave that. Looks like a hole in the tree or something. So up here where the sun is shining would be the most, right here. So you just have to use your imagination. As soon as you can find where you think the light will be coming, that's where you can really boost, give your uh, painting a real boost. See, that's what I'm doing. I'm giving my painting a boost. That's better, isn't it? See? Really makes it stand out nicely. Better leave everything alone because I am bad for pick pick picking. Just playing around with my painting. <laughs> just thought I would do this for, I don't know, just to see what would would look like. Just adding some, uh, maybe some twigs and things in, in here, you know, some branches coming off the trees. A light gray is what I'm using, but you can use whatever color you think that would match. I mean, if you'd rather have it darker so it doesn't look like sticking out too much, you can use a brown with a bit of white. You can put some red and green together and have a little bit of a shadow underneath these. Cute little shadow goes over this way because of the sun shining. We're thinking from the left. Just put a little bit of shadow there if you want. That's kind of nice, isn't it?
play a little bit under here. Those little shadows kind of add, add, add a, a nice little touch. There we go. So I just thought I would throw in a few little added touches. You don't have to do this. This is just something I'm playing around with um, as a little bonus or, you know, a little extra time onto the video or, you know, whatever. I think if it helps you at all, it'd be fun. You know, some of these um, flowers I'd like to do more things with. I could, I see, I could put her around all day long. But um, for the video, I need to stop at some point, don't I? You know, maybe some, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. Just make a little shadow on some of those flowers. A little bit of green even, be nice. Greenish blue, or just a little shadow, you know, that you can put in up here, like in between here, just to pull it out from the inside, from that little See? Just in between there, or just a little bit here. Just some of the ones that need it. Some of them don't need it, but this one here does. This one here might need a little bit just to. Give it a better shape. See, so I'll have shadows and things going on. See, so just pull it out from the center. See, so I guess that little shadowy look there, don't I? separates the petals from each other. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and just uh, have this as a little bonus at the end if you like or you, you know you can leave it at some point you don't have to keep going like I did but I just thought I'd do it for a bit of fun and just to show you some things that I like to do sometimes when the camera is off <laughs> sometimes I do that so you guys have a great day and if you need any help or you need to have any questions, you can email me at alisonpryoryahoo.com. And um, so have a great happy painting day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.